Okay, so we're back for episode two. Uh, well, why am I not moving? Okay, there we go. Alright, so we gotta go to this bridge, but before we go, uh, I'm a little bit bothered by the fact that, uh, just like in Vancey and Magic, uh, you can't actually regain your spell slots unless you rest. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to find some way of resting in the wild. Uh, traditionally in Final Fantasy games, this is done with a tent. There we go. So let me buy just, like, a couple of those. Uh, and, you know, while I'm at it, let me just buy a couple of healing potions. And just in case, let's get a purification, and now uh, we'll get out of here. So this will give us some ability to sustain ourselves out in the wild. So I was promised a bridge in the last episode, so I'm just gonna walk around and- Ah, oh, there it is! Wait, where did- Okay, y'all just saw it disappear before we got attacked, so I guess these imps stole it? Motherfuckers? Alright, so I probably should have tried searching for some better weapons at the shop, but whatever. Uh, these things aren't going to kill themselves. Okay. Alright, Fred. Disappointing me again, Fred. Fred, you were outdone by Mona, the white mage. Literally, her job is healing people, and you're shitty at hurting somebody than she was. Dave, you gonna jump in here at any point? Thanks, Dave. Wasn't too much trouble for you, was it? Alright, so... Hopefully this combat should be done now. I still don't understand why the mages are going before the fighters in initiative here, but, uh... Oh well. Great, so now that Mona has killed the first guy, Mike's attack's gonna be wasted, but ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Good times, good times. Monsters perished. Yeah. I know, I was there. Uh, okay, so we've got a little bit of XP, a little bit of money. What the fu- oh. Okay. I was about to be real mad for a second, but... So their journey begins. What awaits the four, they do not know. Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with beauty from within, but now only darkness. Come start the journey. Return the light and peace to our world. Programmed by Nasir? Hmm. I hope this isn't like a hacked ROM. That would be very disappointing. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Okay, going left. Well, possibly the wrong direction. Possibly the right direction. All right, so come on, we could just hurry this part up a bit. Oh god, this is really making me miss the. Uh, modern conveniences of, like, Bravely Default. Grinding levels in Bravely Default so much easier. So much fun. Uh, sadly, I don't actually know how to capture from a DS, so... Uh, I, otherwise, I probably would have tried recording a series of it. It's definitely one of my favorite JRPGs. Uh, if this takes off and, you know, gets popular, I could totally see trying to do, uh, Dragon Quest as well. Sort of the, uh, Enix equivalent of Final Fantasy before Square and Enix became the same thing. The character designs by the Dragon Ball Z dude. Yes, I know his name is Akira Toriyama. Oh, shit. Grey Wolf? I, I'm worried.
worried about him. Uh, I'm just gonna have some people gang up on him just for, uh, just in case. Well, it's funny, he looks more like a blue wolf. And Mike, Mike mic'd it up. Sometimes it's better to kill the strong one before you can actually start, like, dropping the ridiculous attacks on you. And yes, I'm aware that Dave just failed me. We're just not gonna talk about it. Just have to have faith in the Dave. Dave will preserve us. Holy shit, that blue wolf is, like, so tanky. Like, ridiculously tanky. This is a pretty realistic experience of what being second level in D&D is like. Ten fucking minutes of, like, missing wolves while they miss you. But, I mean, did anybody really want that part? Oh, nice. 59 XP. Okay, so that's the desert. What the hell is that thing? Healing yet? Oh, snap! I've got a level 2 spell slot that I haven't actually bought anything for yet. Uh, I guess I might as well. Yeah, because this thing's doing more damage. told me how much you were going to heal him for instead of just saying HP up, by the way. But I suppose that's, again, a UI improvement that won't come for, well, who knows how long. We'll see if it shows up in Final Fantasy 2. Might have to wait until 
level 3. Well, we might have to wait until the SNES games. Jeez. There's just a whole lot of nothing over here. Oh, two creeps. Great. Okay. Ain't nobody got time for this. Don't fail only this time, Fred. 54 damage. That's respectable. 16 damage. That's... eh. Again, killed by a white mage. Gotta be some shame in the monster afterlife. Alright, no more for... no need to use more spells. Let's just get this thing done. So, I'm actually trying to record these in batches, but, uh, honestly, recording after work is just so tiring. Uh, trying to get home today, and it was just raining so hard, I ended up catching a lift home. Which was nice, the lift driver was, was good, you know, the car didn't smell like weed or anything like that, which has been a problem before. But... Her windows were super foggy, and she kept trying to get them to defrost by turning on, like, the warm, uh, defrost air, which just turned the entire car into, like, a steam basket. I was being steamed alive. It was like the world's shittiest sauna. Alright, so we got, we got level three. Alright, Mike got all kinds of stuff up. Nice. Okay, you can stop telling me about Mike now. Okay, there we go. Dave? Nice. He's got his intelligence went up. Yeah, that's that's something a monk's gonna use. Okay, luck is up. Alright. Yes, yes, I know. Mona got her strength up? Really? Agility? Okay. Int. Yeah, I'm pounding these buttons as hard as I can to get this to move. Okay, Fred. Fred. Yeah. Alright, we found another town. Let's see what's going on in here up with you, blue dude. Help! But Help what? What do you mean help? There's nothing wrong in here. This town has been invaded by pirates. Really? Because, uh, this town looks super fucking empty to me. I am not seeing a whole lot of pirates. You're really going to make me walk all the way around these buildings. Okay, nothing in there. Let's see if I can buy me a... Handax Scimitar. Uh, hmm. I guess I should get a short sword, but I don't know, it just... I mean, that doesn't seem like a fighter weapon. That seems like a, uh, like a thief weapon, right? Alright, so these two guys are going on about, like, help, help. There's fucking pirates everywhere. I don't see pirates anywhere. Alright, let's at least save our data here. Ah, there's the pirate. Okay, why don't you just chill there for a minute? I kinda wanna pick up some magic? Is there a magic store in here? What does this guy sell? That is not magic. Okay, so... Why would you 
you put the armor shop and the weapon shop on opposite sides of town? What idiot designed this place? Okay, so here we go. We got some black magic here. Nice. Alright, so I want you to teach Fred. Ice, dark, temper, and slow. Well, I can't afford any of those things, so... Uh, never mind then. I'm guessing the high level white magic's gonna be the same deal. And it looks like this town only sells level 2 magic, so I'm gonna have to go all the way back to the starting town to get the first one. This guy is Bick? Bicky the pirate? <laughs> He's a basic Bicky. Probably enjoys pumpkin spice lattes. Uh, so he's surprised. Scurvy dogs have the nerve to face him. Alright, so... Wow, that is... That's like nine pirates. Kidding me with this? Uh, all right. Well, you and you can't use fire on multiple people. That is annoying. I should think so. Forty damage would destroy a pirate. Excuse me, terminate a pirate. These guys do hit pretty hard. Hmm. Fortunately, they don't hit very often. Alright, so that's two pirates down. Oh, come on, Dave. Nice going, Dave. So, I don't... Okay, I'll use one more fire spell, and I'll save the last one for Dicky to warm up his pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, take it. You like that 20 damage right to the face. Oh wait, I forgot my earlier story. Yeah, so I was stuck in this sauna of a car, uh, which was not super great, but the driver was nice. Um, somehow I ended up talking about Kevin Costner. I think it was because she was listening to an R&B station, and they were just like super into Whitney Houston songs. And I was like, oh, yeah, they played, like, I'm Every Woman, or one of the songs from, like, the Bodyguard soundtrack, and I was like, oh, hey, you remember the Bodyguard? And then I remembered where Kevin Costner's career went after that, uh, which was some weird places, man. Like, the Bodyguard was pretty decent, uh, but then I don't know if he did anything between that and Waterworld, but I kind of remember him going from, like, Dances with Wolves to the Bodyguard, to Waterworld, and that was a weird transition. Like, not fun times. Uh, Waterworld and The Postman are basically the same movie, incidentally. Uh, Kevin Costner plays like kind of a stinky, unwashed dude in the post-apocalypse. Who falls in love with a woman who gets naked at some point and is being pursued by some kind of weird warlord. And also, he's humanity's last chance. Oh, so I guess we could actually just leave and, like, come back and do some shit? I mean, that's not actually a bad idea. Let's see. I mean, I do have enough money to actually buy a spell, so. I mean, there's no reason not to do it. Uh, anyway, in Waterworld, uh, it's like a post-apocalypse where the world got flooded. 
and Kevin Costner plays like this dude with, he's like a half dolphin or half seal or something. He's got like, let's see, what do I want? Dark, ice. I have no idea what temper does. I do know what slow does. And I have a feeling that that is probably going to be really good against bosses. So we'll just go with that for now. Uh, anyway, I think the bad guy in Waterworld is like a weird, bald Dennis Hopper. Uh, and everybody lives on the ocean in these weird ocean cities, but, like, uh, Jean Triplehorn, who I think at some point gets topless in the movie, either she... What? Oh. We're not even gonna fight him? After all that shit? He just gave us his boat. Well, spent all that money for nothing. It's about the 20 minute mark. But, I don't know, I kind of want to... Can we get into fights on the... on the water? So, I mean, I'm guessing the... yeah, we can get into fights on the water. So I guess the shark just jumped up on the ship and was like, What's up, guys? Oh, I should really heal Dave. I thought I told Mona to do that. Oh, right, she didn't... We killed the dude before it was her turn. Hmm. Is she gonna have a turn to do it now? Oh yeah, she might. Alright, Mona. Do your thing to Dave. Uh, so anyway, either the chick in Waterworld or her daughter has like probably the daughter has like a map tattooed on her body somewhere to like where dry land is so that's like a big deal Mona do not let Dave die I don't understand why Okay, I need to start paying closer attention, because something is happening when she tries to... Ah, uh, great. Congratulations, Mona, you've killed Dave. taught me and tells me that as a water creature oh, god damn it uh, and now my XP is gonna be all fucking lopsided alright so I think we can get Dave like resurrected at the hospital thing, which was up here. Alright. So, how is everybody doing health wise? Uh, okay. Pretty. No, not pretty good. Dave is fucked up. Okay. Let's go to the inn again. Uh, the postman's like a slightly more boring post-apocalypse. It really just looks like... Regular America. Ah, a red Sahagan. 
surprised they had permission to use the Sahuagin. I thought those things were, like, owned by D&D. &D. Six damage to the shark. Ah, you are lucky, D uh, Fred, that Mike killed the last shark before he had a chance to cast that weak-ass spell. I would have been so pissed. because we already know the sharks are super tanky in this game. Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like, it'd be kind of hard to punch somebody underwater if that is indeed what we're doing, because... I mean, it wouldn't make sense if the shark had actually just jumped up onto the surface. Okay, you know what? We gotta kill some shit here. Everybody focus. Alright, I wanna see you... I wanna see you cast a spell, Mona. There we go. I don't know what was happening before. Really? 16 points healed from that? Uh, how are you missing that thing? It's like a big, weird red shrimp man. Uh, anyway, the postman. Uh, it's like a post-apocalypse, and Kevin Costner is an improbably sexy... Postman. Like, he actually delivers mail. I say improbably sexy because, I mean, he still looks like Kevin Costner, but, like, chicks dig him. In a way that seems kind of weird. Uh, try fire on him, I guess. Alright, what can you give him? So from 13 to... Okay, see? You gave Mike 20 hit points back. Why come you only gave Dave, like, 16? Okay. Fred is starting to redeem himself. I'm trying to remember exactly how the postman ends. There's, like, some sort of weird, like, tyrant dude who's, like, a warlord taken over the surrounding area, and I think he wants Kevin Costner's woman, or something along those lines. I think Kevin Costner has, like, a kid? Like, not during the movie, but I remember there's a scene at the end where, like, there's this woman standing in front of a... like, a statue of Kevin Costner in a postman's outfit, talking about how he, uh... Help save the world by delivering mail after the death of civilization, because, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so, go up this coast. Alright, we're. Oh, God. These are Kaizoku. I mean, they look a lot like pirates. Okay, why don't you drink a potion? Why don't you... I don't know. I feel like these guys are blue, so they might be extra tough. Yeah. 
that, so she got like 28 hit points back from drinking the potion. Uh, you know, I was gonna try and avoid using save states while doing this, but uh, there's just no save points in this game, so I think I'm probably gonna have to use uh, save state in order to not have this episode last for, like, ever. Okay, so, can this guy... Okay, so I guess he's just gonna slow everybody. That sounds good. We probably should have had him do that at the beginning. Alright, they missed. Okay, Zoku dead yet? Finally. Alright. Lost intelligence. Ineffective. What is that? Lost intelligence. Oh, uh, wait. Is it, like, initiative in this game? Not intelligence? That is weird. I guess in maybe initiatives based on intelligence, which would still be weird. Really wish you guys would stop missing. off these Kaizokus. Not missing them. Well, I guess on the bright side they're also missing me a lot. Come on, guys, you're like third level. You should be hitting creatures by now. Although that does suggest that perhaps I've gone in the wrong direction, and these creatures are, uh, maybe not totally outside of my level range, but high enough that maybe I should go back the other way. Finally, he's dead. Of course, that does mean that these other two attacks will be wasted, but at least we can start. Yikes. Okay, she doesn't have any more cures. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to hope that she doesn't get killed. Save us, Mike. Oh, thank God. XP. Oh, 360 golds, like, I think most of the way to a proper weapon upgrade. Alright. So, we're gonna go back to the inn and save our progress. We aren't gonna have to use a save state. And I will see everybody next time.